In this session, we'll draw the bracket part that will then be dimensioned in the following sessions. After choosing the Start from Scratch option, we'll select the default settings of English. We'll now select the pull-down option tools, followed by selecting the Drafting Settings option. We'll change the grid spacing to 1.0 and then set the snap spacing to 0.5 for both the X and Y directions. We'll now click on OK to establish these settings. In order to make use of the grid and snap options, we'll switch them on by clicking on the corresponding buttons in the status bar. We'll now click on the Layers icon to display the Layer Properties Manager window. We'll create the collection of new layers shown here using the techniques described in previous lessons. Now we'll set the construction layer as our current layer and then click on OK to accept the settings. We'll begin the process of drawing construction lines by clicking on the construction line icon. And now we'll key in the world coordinates, 3, 2, and then use the mouse to click on a location directly above this point to draw a vertical line. We'll now move the mouse to the right of the first location and then left click again to draw the horizontal line. Now we'll right click the mouse to end the construction line command. We'll now click on the snap button in the status bar area to turn it off. The offset command is now used to create the collection of construction lines that are shown here. Prior to drawing lines that define the part, we'll left click in the layer control box and then left click on the layer object lines to set it as our current layer. We'll now click on the Object Snap, Object Snap Tracking, and Line Weight buttons in the Status area. Now we'll click on the Line icon and then draw the collection of lines as shown here. We'll now trim the overlapping lines. And then draw the circle shown here. We'll finish the rough outline of our drawing by now trimming the large circle. Now we'll set the hidden line layer as our current layer and then draw the line shown here in the side view. We'll now add a center line that is located at the center of the circles in the side views. Since we no longer need the construction lines, we'll use the layer control box to turn off the display of these lines. We'll now set the object lines layer as the current layer. And finally, we'll add the fillets, followed by saving the file.